That's one of them good eating ducks. All right, guys, welcome back. We're here to do another product spotlight video. Uh, this week, we're going to talk about the Woody, the Wood Duck Call, the arguably like most popular Duck Commander Duck Call. Um, we sell as many, if not more, of those a year than any other Duck Call. It is a very popular duck call. Um, it is one that we get a lot of questions about, and I just kind of wanted to go through it. We do have these videos that exist, but just kind of freshen them up, um, show you that things haven't changed around here. They're still built right here in the US of A, right here in West Monroe, Louisiana. So uh, without further ado, the Woody. Uh, one, one thing I notice that people do a lot, um, and a mistake that they make with the Woody call, is that they blow a woody call to mimic the sounds of wood ducks that are flying. Now, that's a hard sell to a wood duck. Um, you know, if you're gonna try to mimic ducks on the water and you've got your decoys and all that, then you wanna make sounds of the ducks that are on the water, not when they're flying, because you know, as Goblin says a lot of times in his speeches, like, if you if he's flying and I'm flying, what are we doing, racing? That's a flying call. You flying, he flying, y'all racing, I guess. So, um, it's kind of a weird call. It's very similar um, for you guys that, that, that know this. Um, if you're a goose hunter. It's very similar to a short rig goose call, the things you do, the kind of pressure you put on it to get it to break and do things uh, that you want it to do. But we're just gonna go through some of the sitting sounds uh, that a Woody does. I'll try to articulate the best I can what I'm doing, but I really don't know other than I'm trying to mimic Woody's that I've heard and listened to all of my life. Um, the reason that I keep a Woody call on my lanyard too is we kill a lot of woodies here. We hunt a lot of woodies, but have y'all ever ate one? This is arguably the finest eating fowl made right here. The wood duck. He is that good. They taste so good. He's arguably one of the finest eating ducks made. Um, they get a bad rap from people because they say they're hard to clean, but that's if you want to breast him. He picks really easy, beautifully. If you need to see like smoked whole wood ducks and stuff like that, go check out other recipe videos on here. Check out some on my channel. Like we eat these rascals. But anyway, let's go through the sounds. I don't got off out here because that's what this room tends to do to people. But let's go through them. So wood ducks on the water, what do they normally do? They'll do something kind of like this. So what I'm doing there is kind of like And so you see me moving my hand, so I'm just trying to like throw that to kind of give it a little, a little inflection, a little range. Um, then another thing that Woody do, you, you've heard them a lot, I'm sure. I know you have if you've hunted them or been around them. So that one, you're putting a real sharp burst of air, and then right when you feel it want to break, boom, you shut the air off, and you put back pressure through it to cause it to break the other way. You get that. See how we do that? There you go, see? Because if you keep going, you hear how it goes, well right before it hits that level, and if you don't know what you're doing, right before it hits that level, that's when you shut the air off. So if you need to do it a few times, if 
you need to do that a few times to find out what that feels like and where, where you're going in that natural progression, then don't cover your hand because you could get it wrong. If you do it at the wrong time, you're not going to get the right sound. So, see what we did there? I can go a little premature on it, but that's because I've been doing this a long time. Look, when I started here, I built like 95% of these rascals. Because when you're the new guy, you build the hard ones. The hard ones to build, woodies, teal. They kill your hands. Absolutely kill your hands. So when you're the rookie, guess what you get? This thing right here. But no, let's keep going through sounds. They do more than that. Um, so we've done another one they do. That's one like, I don't know if you've ever seen them, but like they'll get to chasing each other and they're right behind them. They do it all the time. Um, another one, like when they're, it, I don't know, you know, it's hard to like put emotions into animals, but it seems like when they're really excited, they'll do one like this. Kind of sounds like a pileated woodpecker, but I know it's the ducks because I've actually physically sat there and watched them do it. So when you string all this together, along with wood duck calls, it is possible to call woodies in. Um, We've called in bunches of up to 25, especially when you get the migrating woodies. Your local woodies are a little slick to the game. They know where the holes are. They kind of have figured you out by that time. But when you get the migrators, you can call them in just like mallards. So um, I know y'all say migrators. Look, I kill, we kill several woodies a year and we kill bands on some of them. And I don't know that I've ever killed a banded woody from Louisiana, but I've killed a bunch of them from Minnesota, from Iowa, uh, from Arkansas, from uh, Michigan, from Wisconsin. So kill them all up the Mississippi River to show you that they do in fact migrate, come down, and then turn around and go back up. Um, our woodies in Louisiana a lot of times stay year round, but they'll move locally with pressure and other things like that. A typical calling sequence for woodies, like if I see them, like I'm just going to take you through like, all right, here comes some woodies. I, I see them coming through the trees right there that I'm going to go. <laughs> if they kind of turn and start easing my way, then I'm going to. <laughs> and then I see what they do. If they kind of veer or do something different and I want to get their attention again. <laughs> all right, they're coming. They've kind of broke down. Generally, as you hear me start milking that thing now, that's because I'm reaching for my shotgun. And we about to have some fun. But that's the wood duck call in a nutshell. There you go. You can call woodies. You can eat woodies. Be proud. You can kill three of them now. That's a good duck hunt.